and you don't need expensive gear to create great music. So let's get that out the way. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Archie Beats and I am here to help. And today we're talking about what microphones do I own and why? <laughs> One of the first lessons I learned when I entered this recording industry, you're gonna need a microphone, you're gonna be recording anything. And what I learned is that each microphone has its own personality, has its own characteristics, respond to artists with a certain tone a certain way. And I just wanted to make sure that the first thing I did was I got a microphone that I could do all of those things with and just kind of comfortably sit in between and be decent and be well off, which I advise all of you guys to do. You don't need a bunch of crazy mics and you don't need expensive gear to create great music. So let's get that out the way. But before we get started, if you guys are interested in anything that you've seen in my home studio or here at our studio, Radio Music, be sure to click below because I am an Amazon influencer and I have everything listed on there that can possibly help you on your creative journey. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. When you're first starting out, get you something that's very versatile and that can actually get the job done. That is the gospel. Without further ado, let's get to my mic locker. So guys, these are the microphones that I own that are in my mic locker and I'm gonna give you guys an explanation why. Most of these microphones pretty much do the same thing but I want to explain to you guys the reason why I have these microphones, what they do and what they're great for. Let's get started with my dynamic microphone. This is the AKG D88S. This is a dynamic microphone. It doesn't require phantom power. It's pretty much used for vocals. You can also mic guitar amps. I found this microphone really handy also with putting on a snare drum. A lot of people don't use it for that but I do and it's done a great job over the years just handling that and you can do vocals I prefer more sensitive electrostatic condenser microphones for vocals but this microphone will still get the job done and it's around $99 when I purchased it last time I checked it was discontinued but it is a great microphone that you could possibly find on eBay or any reverb or any vintage store that actually sell them but hey it's a great microphone the next microphone you see is a condenser Sir microphone known as the Norman TLM 103 and this microphone is really great for vocals acoustic instruments such as guitars any type of orchestral instruments um, it just does a great job especially when it's right there upon whatever the source is and it actually sounds like really 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 expensive microphones I'm talking in the 5000s because of its large diaphragm but it's actually a really really great microphone for the price the only thing different from this and a higher end microphones it doesn't have like polar patterns or any roll-offs that you can actually select on the microphone and this microphone is around a thousand dollars you can get it on discount during holidays you can also try to get it used these microphones carry value they last a very long time and that's why you invest in microphones the next microphone is my big baby it's the microphone I use the most and that is the Norman U87 AI this microphone is an industry favorite it's an industry how can I say it it's a default safe <laughs> investment when you buy you're investing in a recording studio it's a bit high in price it's $35.99 I invested in this microphone because it was a lifetime investment it was my dream mic and still is it has a large diaphragm it sounds great Jay-Z is known for using this microphone with an Avalon 737 channel strip mic pre whatever you want to call it and my mentors when I first started out they gave me my first job as their in-house engineer they recorded Janet Jackson on this microphone it sounded really great it's just an absolutely phenomenal great microphone it also has a roll off polar pattern you also have a pad on it which is really great well worth the investment also the 87 is great for acoustic instruments vocals anything you want to use it for including a deck of tree on top of an orchestra or room mics for drums when you have a pair of them or overhead microphones for drums you have a pair of them this microphone is actually great and i noticed they use it also on a few uk radio stations it's considered a broadcast favorite although 3500 dollars for four mics in a studio is a bit expensive but hey do y'all thing y'all getting money out there obviously let's go on to the blue amber which is my next microphone this microphone is absolutely phenomenal for 99 dollars and it's definitely worth the price and the reason why it's worth the price is because this microphone is heavy duty it's built like a, a truck guys it's built like a truck it sounds great you can use it for podcasts regular singing vocals stringed and acoustic instruments even horns guys this microphone sounds really great and shout out to blue for creating such an amazing
amazing microphone. And the next microphone is one of my favorite microphones of all time. This microphone is the Rode NTK. I've had this microphone for over 10 years. You guys can see it's had a beating. Um, it's lasted a long time. It fell and it hit the wall one time and it was still rolling. I've never had to change the tube out of it. It has its own power supply, which is really dope. I don't have to initiate phantom power when using this microphone. Also, this microphone has a very warm tone to it. It's built like a truck, guys. It's built like a horse. It's built like a brick wall. This microphone now is $569. I paid around $1,000 for it when I first purchased it, and I think it was worth $1,600 at the time. This microphone is actually my favorite two microphone under $1,000. Not only has it lasted a long time, I can always depend on it on any type of vocal, male, female. Like I said, it has a great warm to it and is very dependable. And these are the microphones that I have in my arson, guys. I hope you guys really appreciate this video. Remember, you don't need expensive gear to create great music. You just have to be creative, be driven, and create that dope, fantastic music. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment your favorite mic below and what microphones do you have in your mic locker. Follow me on Instagram at Archie Beats and Twitter at Archie Beats. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss another video. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. This is your boy Archie Beats, and I am signing off. Archie Beats. Beat on the beat, yeah.